how do I know if my air conditioning refrigerant or Freon or whatever you want to call it is low? That's the trending question right now. Welcome to Mercy Day Auto Care, where compassion and craftsmanship come together. I'm Rick Smith, Master Certified Technician. Now, typically, if air conditioning is not as cold as it should be, it's going to be one of two issues. It's either going to be low refrigerant or Freon or it's going to be a problem with the airflow inside the car because we blow air over the evaporator, which is what I call the ice cube of the car, or over the heater core, which is the hot part. And if the door is messed up, it will blow over the heater instead of the, the evaporator. But we could also have a problem with the fan out front. We've got to make sure it's, it's blowing air over the condenser so that the system functions properly. But here's simply how we check it at the shop before we do any diagnostics. So refrigerant goes into the car and, it, and then it goes through that evaporator and then it comes out. Now you'll have two air conditioning lines. One is small, one is large. Car's running, air conditioning's on. Be careful. The small one is extremely hot. But all I, all I actually do is I feel this larger line. Whatever temperature that larger line is, that's what the temperature of the evaporator inside is. So if it's very cold, likely my refrigerant's at the right level. If it's barely cool or even warm, it could even be almost room temperature and still have cold air coming out of the vents. But regardless, whatever that is, that's about the temperature of the evaporator at the end of its cycle. So that can give you a little bit of an idea Otherwise, we have to use equipment like gauges and things like that. But that's a quick check to maybe give you an idea of where to go. Thanks for watching. Until next time, safe travels and blessings to you.